How's it going my happy gamers and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Okay, so now we're going to returning to Professor Fig's classroom after going into the forbidden section of the library to find a book. So let's go and get deliver the book to Professor Fig and tell him that we went there. Okay. Let's get going. I'm running, I'm running. It's still night time. There's no students around. Loading. Surprised with the PS5 it still needs to load. Okay, well, sometimes. Whoopsie, where am I going? What are these stat... You did something. You guys are making a full lot of me. I'm going. Going back and forth for nothing. Na, 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 na. Where's this begin quest? Okay. Hmm, just wait the time to pass. Go to Professor Fig. Oh, nice day. Did I sleep on the floor? Okay, so. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox. It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Sorry to hmm. interrupt you, Professor. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Okay. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. Yep. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Okay, let's have a look at what we've, what's in that book. Ooh, pages are missing. Oh. oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful. It may take some time. I yeah. wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? Mm. They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Okay. What will you tell them? What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. Okay. I'll still keep it a secret from you. I moment. understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. Okay. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Okay. Wow, that was a big level up. 260 EX XP is huge. Okay, so what's the next mission I got? None. Okay, well that's helpful. Maybe it'll load now. Let's see. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Okay, that's all. 
Read mail? It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Nice. Also, the training dummy is still available. Awesome. Okay, Netsa uh, just sent you an owl request, or owl post, sorry, requesting to meet her in the lower Hogsfield a hamlet that shape. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Okay, so I've also got a professor I need to go see, but first, let me go see Natsai. World map up here. Whoa. As you explore, you will remove fog and reveal more of the map. Okay. Uh -huh. So, hamlets are those little houses, dungeons are those ruins things, bandit camps it looks like a tent. Okay. And many other locations. Okay. Let's get going, guys! First things first, let's select a mission. Quests. The girl from Ugadu. Or Herbology class. Expelliarmus. That's for the professor. Oh, I can learn Expelliarmus. So, successfully avoid enemy attacks by dodge rolling. I need to do that 10 times. Cast Incendio on the enemies. 5 times. Okay. So, that I have to do semi on uh, while i'm busy doing missions so i can complete that while doing missions which is easy perfect so now let me just go see that side that'll be easier okay world map where are you you are down there so i'm gonna have to leave hogwarts to go see you uh let me go to hogwarts is there no faster waypoint okay here i'll just travel outside of hogwarts and walk the rest of the way Okay, so turn around and get going. What was that? Sounded like a horse. Oh wait, is it in the cages? No. I am hearing. Ah, oh, there. Collection up to the Thestral is here. Ah. Oops! Wrong button, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm out of here. One thing that I don't understand is, is that everyone says only if you have seen death can you see a Thestral. Ooh, flu flame. But the one thing I don't nice underst understand is how could they still hear it? Like I did when I walked past there now? Because I'm sure random people will be walking past hearing a horse and nothing is there. Well, I do suppose this is magic, so they must think that it's, uh, I don't know, some sort of magic or a ghost of a horse. Oh, Moonstone! Moonstone! I still have no cooking clue what they're for, but Moonstone! Oh, a Glector. Leaping Toadstool. Okay. I heard something, but I'm not going to investigate. This is quite far. Oh, Moonstone! Okay. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Oh, this is a long trip. I wonder if this is Hagrid's house. I think it is all the pumpkins. I think Rebellion. this is Hagrid's house.
Oh, there's too many things there. I'm gonna carry on. I should investigate. Let's not investigate somebody's home. Thank you. That is called trespassing and breaking and entering. Wait, Natsu. It is good to see you, my friend. Natty. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. <coughs> we did not speak about it at the time, but Sorry, I am hoping guys. now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something I found, or I can't say. I feel like I can trust her. She's been through a lot with me. Um... Okay, I'm gonna trust you and tell you what's going on. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Oh, I okay. realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Yeah. Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Oh, this could be dangerous. You need to be careful, Nettie. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. Okay. But how? I am yeah. going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Just be careful, Natty. Be on your guard. You too. Please be safe. I don't want to lose a friend because of something that people are after me. What's going on here? Yeah, what's going on down there? Who was screaming? Sounds like someone needs help. They must have come this way. Think! Are you okay? I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. Hmm. A student! You can't be sick! Uh-uh. Leave her alone. There we go. Take that! Take some of those. Any more? Oh, you want some of this too? Oh, what's the light going Oh, I need a dodge roll. Oh, I need a dodge roll for that one mission. Um, can I? Uh... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Can I keep the? Um... So yeah, successfully avoid attacks by rolling ten times. Cast incendio on five enemies. Okay, but okay, so I just need to dodge roll. So come attack me and I'll dodge Hang it. On, we can hold them come on guys, come on guys. Come on guys, come on guys. 
Whoop! Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Whoop! Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. Whoop! Damn, that was double dodge. Come on. Another one. I haven't been counting. I don't know how many I still have to do. Let me see. How many more do I still have to do? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Three more. Three more times. One, two, three. So that should be done. I think. Let me just double check. Okay, that's done. Cast Incendio on enemies five times. Okay. So I'm going to do it on you. Oh, I missed. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Do it for you. Incendio. Whoop. Come on. Oh, damn it. I didn't see. Whoops. Whoopsie. Haha. Haha. Ha. How many more do I have to do? How many more? Oh, done. Yay, I can finally kill them. Alright, take this. Complete it in the time because I was busy trying to. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Nora. Are you alright? I am. Sorry, Miss Nora. In no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story. Yeah. Thank you for your help. Thank mm. you, ma'am. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Who is Priya? Yeah. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin. Gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own <laughs> shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. <laughs> You're a researcher. Yeah, Nora how interesting. Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. How extraordinary. Or oh, I thought Merlin was a myth. Yeah, I thought Merlin is from King Arthur. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Yeah. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them, all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. Oh, I okay. believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Yeah, but I thought it was illegal for muggles to know about the Wizarding World, so Merlin did a very bad thing for the Wizarding World. But it's fascinating, though. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Yeah. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I hmm. suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. 
Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Okay, let's try. I brought a trunk chock full of mallow sweet with me. It's just Where? over there by my tent. Revelio. Okay, that box. Okay. This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Oh, thank you. I have the mallow sweet. Five mallow Lovely. sweets. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Whoa. See that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Yeah, I can do something with the pyres. Well, pots. It's got some red stuff, so maybe I have to light them on fire. Oh, nice! This one's right. The flames make the pyre sink. Okay, three. Is that it? Okay. Oh, okay. We got is that Merlin in there? What a day! I can hardly believe it. Merlin. Okay. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow sweet, which you can right. find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I okay. really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too, ma'am. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Yes. Okay, quest complete. Trials of Merlin. Wow, you pack away fast. Um, you forgot a box. And it had food inside, so you're gonna go starving. Okay, so let me see. Oh, do I have time for another mission? For her biology class. Okay, let me try quickly do this one, and then I should be finished. Alright, can I flu flame it somewhere? Hogwarts. Uh, do I have flu flames here? Yes, one there. Let me travel. Okay. Let's go, guys. Let me get a. Show me where I need to go. Okay, out this way. Thank you. Whoops. Down here. Okay. I've been noticing on TikTok and everyone talking about herbology class. Let me see what this herbology teacher is all about. Onion again. A herbology professor. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Okay. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Okay. Let's 
see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, okay. let's protect our ears. <laughs> yeah, they scream. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Okay, pull mandrake. Whoa, you're an ugly thing. Jesus! Okay, put it down. Okay. Woo! That was loud. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting <laughs> the mandrake right at ease. Well, it is a root. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. <laughs> All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. Okay. You can all get started. I need. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. Okay. Talk to Professor Garlic. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Yeah. I, I nearly went deaf, you yeah. say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Yeah. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant <laughs> the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Okay. So let me go plant it. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the wood potion. As you all should know, well done! Okay, sorry. Once it can be harvested, your dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Okay. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora. The Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I think that's all we got for today. Uh, on our next adventure, we'll go speak to Mr. Prewet. I guess that's his name. Keep at it. But anyways. A garden requires mm. patience as much as water and sunlight. Thank you. But anyway guys, please leave a like. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching guys. And as always, stay happy gamers.